Well, great morning. Uh, mercy. I got up late, slept in, didn't didn't set the alarm. So, um, yeah, great Saturday. So, Mr. Max has had his morning walk. We didn't walk far. He turned around and said, oh, no, I want to come back, okay? <laughs> so, I think that today we will take off. I was just trying to round things up to take with us. Because uh, they said it was going to be 105 here yesterday. I went out and my car has a temperature gauge. Outside it was 111 over here. <laughs> and I don't care if it's a dry heat. I don't feel like being in here and being baked. Okay, so we're heading up north for uh, a couple of days. Anyway. Today I'm going to pull from the Sacred Awakening, the Black Moon Astrology cards, and Wisdom of the House of Night. So I just wanted to say, you know, uh, I'm sorry I've heard uh, that um, someone I know is losing her friends to the COVID, and I'm so sorry to hear that. It's, uh, well, especially, you know, she's like me, older, and, uh, you know, uh, we are more susceptible to getting COVID and to having it, you know, become deadly. Um, first card out is Magical Mystery. So we really have to be careful. The good note, though, is, you know, life is eternal. And uh, once they've left, they're on the other side. And they're fine and uh, feeling young again. <laughs> Not dealing with the nonsense here. <laughs> so um, that's the good news about it. The difficult news is it's always hard to lose friends and people that you know, but they are missed. Okay. Next is High Priestess of Spirit. Now I'm going to have to take a look, see real quick, and see what they are saying for High Priestess of Spirit. getting things ready to go and now of course I can't find the uh, I had that tea sit and I had a new bag come from it maybe I put it in the car trunk to get it out of here <laughs> now I can't find it and I'm hoping I didn't accidentally throw it away but I don't think I did that yeah just even going for a day or so, there's so many things you've got to take, you know, you have to take your shampoos and your toothpaste and your, you know, so many things, my cards, my computer, my <laughs> oh, mercy, Gemini, I think, I think. So let's see what we have to say about the High Priestess of Spirit. What a 
they talking about with this? Okay. Okay, know that all things, events, experiences are woven together like a magical web that can be seen only in the darkest night and not by human eyes. Everything that you need to know is part of the divine scheme of things, a meaningful coincidence, a blessed friendship, a lover, and a significant experience are all orchestrated to help you become the powerful being you were meant to be. No matter what is in front of you, something important is brewing. You will know the answer to the what soon enough. But I keep secret the why. You may step forward knowing that some things are meant to remain a mystery. I'll look at the I think here real quick. Gemini. Communication is the key. Be versatile and quick at this time. You must also be mindful because people are talking. Gemini is a charming sign, full of whimsy and fun, and it is ruled by the planet Mercury, named after the Roman god of wit and winged thought. Geminis are chatty, and their minds are like quicksilver. Geminis prefer to do things fast, not because they're boisterous, but because they become bored with anything tedious and not immediately fun. Words are everything to a Gemini. They adore books, but are hardly, but hardly ever read them entirely. What is the most important, important to a Gemini is an exchange of ideas and communication. However, they like to discuss ideas, but tend to be poor listeners. Okay. Geminis are fascinated by their own thoughts rather than the ideas of others. As Geminis are curious about everything, they tend to be experts on a number of different topics. They love stories and gossip. Those intelligent minds should always be fed, whether with gossipy tales or the most erudite or philosophical pursuits. They like both. They usually have a small computer on their person to access social media and play games. Okay. Um, okay, so let's read this Gemini card and read. The mind and the brain being of two minds, fluency, deafness, being clever, while a little superficial double talk talking too much, giving out too much information. Okay, got it. Um, so it's, uh, I think this is just today that one has to look deeper to see what's there, not just a superficial thing. And so many people, you know, uh, they surround themselves with <clears throat> a lot of externals because they are too much in their heads, okay? Too much drama. They don't want to sit and really um, confront what's there, okay? So they want to do a covering of things to keep them occupied. So you have, like I said, the Geminis, they want to basically talk at you. They don't want to listen, okay? Um, their ideas are more important, okay? Uh, so if you're gonna get anywhere to really um, come to liberation, 
the thing you have to understand is thoughts. Where do they come from? Where do they go to? Sit and watch them. Okay? Uh, sit and it, see how the thoughts are coming in and out, in and out, in and out. Okay, how much drama they're bringing. Okay. And see how your attention to it gives it substance, makes it seem more valid, more real. And the more you cling to a thought, the more it's going to affect the physicality. Look and see how the different emotions move the physicality. Like if you have a knee-jerk reaction, it's a it's a big um, um, burst of adrenaline, usually. Anger is a big burst of adrenaline. Okay. The whole body starts to react. So it's time to spend the time to understand the magical history of how these things effect. Watch how when a thought comes up, it creates an emotion. The emotion creates a physical action reaction. And the more your attention is on it, the stronger it gets. Now, when it's out of your attention, where did it go? How much reality does it have then? Okay. So if these things are so substantial, and when it's out of sight, out of mind, has no substance, then really it will cause one to start to understand the high priestess of spirit, the things that are hidden. <clears throat> Usually the high priestess is, you know, the things that are hidden. So if you want to know how to move forward, then it takes confronting the mind and to really get in touch with how these things all work together. Okay. The more you are able to sit with it and really question it on a very, very deep level, it will start to be like little keys and opening doors. Okay, so you can understand things better. So you don't have to continue to run away from yourself, <laughs> your soap opera. Okay. Because most of the path is about stilling, <clears throat> confronting, questioning. And in order to do that, you have to take a moment, calm, Watch it, question it, watch it, question it. The more you do it, like I said, the more keys or doors that are going to open up and aha moments are going to come. And the more stilling and quiet one becomes, mind becomes, eventually you go into a witness state where there's a buffer zone where you can watch what's taking place, what you're doing, what the thoughts are, and you can, at that same point, be able to question it. You have a buffer zone. That's called witness state. And when you go into witness state, you will feel like, um, not that there's a disconnect, but that you have a, um, How do I want to say it? Maybe more of an expansion, more of a um,
that you're not so, you know, caught up. You're not so, you've got some moment to be able to question, okay, in a deeper level to see Yeah, it's hard to put into words. It's been so long since I've been in witness state here. <laughs> looking at thoughts and looking at actions and stuff. Now I do remember, I can recall, I can tell you one thing that happened while in witness state. That it's very pronounced. We was doing something, you know, Oh, was something it had triggered and was angry. Okay. And all and I'm with this state is commenting on it at the same time as happening. Well, that's pretty stupid. <laughs> it doesn't stop the action at the moment. One continues on that autopilot of whatever nature thing was going on. But one is able to at that time, like I said, witness it and can comment on the same time it's happening. So you begin to see what things are triggers, etc. Okay. So witness that. Yeah, it just feels like there's more of a, um, even though the body may be doing one thing, emotions may be doing thing you are still in this more still area here that can watch what's taking place and can continue to comment on it out as it's taking place okay and that's the way one comes to a more fuller understanding more wisdom, more calmness. Okay, like I said, more it's a calmness. Um, there's a still point that one reaches. And when one gets to realization, doesn't mean the body doesn't still do what it does, okay? One's basic personality, one can say, doesn't change. Um, if you're a fiery person, you remain a fiery person. So I think people have this um, misbegotten notion about realization. But when realization takes place, like I said, there's always that still center that's in place that remains. And emotions are very surface, okay? Emotions, anger, any of those things are very surface. They don't keep it's, it's momentary for that moment, and then it's gone as if it never happened, okay? So it's like, instead of being, okay, instead of being on the top of the ocean where you've got all these waves and all this drama happening, okay, you're, you're at the bottom of the ocean where it's still, you're no longer caught up on the top in a little boat being thrown here and there, okay? Which is what you like in, in regular mind spin. You're in a, the top of the ocean in a little boat being thrown by the waves. <laughs> so it's when, when realization takes place, you become like the fish that's in and out and none of these waves are touching it. Smooth is, you know, that's what remains, okay? 
So I'm going to leave this here. So if you are in that mind spin, again, it takes coming to a point of observation, sitting with things, watch how thoughts come and go, watch how a thought creates an emotion, and emotion affects the physicality, and then one, as one grasps onto that, they think this is who and what they are. Because one feels it in the form, one misappropriates and thinks they are a form. Thinks they are a form. Okay. But one is not that form. The form is a vehicle. That's how we are spirit. Spirit programs, brain programs form. Okay. So I'm going to leave this here starting to get hot in here already so uh, I'm gonna get us packed up and uh, we are going to hit the road today <laughs> and get out of here because it's um, what 10 o'clock here now and it's already heating up in here quite significantly Oh, mercy. Well, I look forward to being um, out of this heat for a while. Like I said, it's always a pain when you've got to pack up the car and get ready to go. So I'm going to go do that. I've got to get the trash out of here. Take that up to the thing. Get the rest of the stuff in the car. And we're going to head up the road. <laughs> so thanks for tuning in. Um, hopefully I've got a good signal where, where we land tonight. And I will be back on the computer and checking things. So much love and light to everyone. Be safe. Be well. See you online.